So fine. Hey, this is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2015 NAMM show in Anaheim, California. And I'm in some pretty good company right now. We got Doyle Dykes playing guitar and I'm standing next to Lloyd Bags from LR Bags. He's going to be talking about the new Session Acoustic DI. Lloyd, how's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going awesome, man. The show's fantastic. Have you ever seen so many people here in your life? Maybe, but it, but I don't recall right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it's hopping. So it's great. It's it's really. I think it's going to be a fantastic year. A lot of good energy and yeah. So we're having a great show, and people are really responding uh, fantastically to our new product, the Session DI. Well, we're psyched to hear about it. Well, the the, the thing it was a little scary for us to do this product because it's an it's a solution to a problem that people didn't actually know they had or they didn't know what to call it. So what we've done here is we've built some studio post-processing tools into a DI for a live musician. Okay. So like a lot of guitar players have this sound in their head, right? They go into a studio, they track it, and then it comes back bigger, juicier, warmer, nicer, more interesting. And they don't know how in the heck they got how it got there. It's just like, oh, my mix engineer did it. He's a genius, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? So but then they go to their gig and they plug in their guitar and they don't get that same sound. So what we did is we built two primary tools into this that mixing mixing and mastering engineers use in post-processing their guitars. So in a way it's like Photoshop for your guitar sound. Interesting, okay. The Tell us about it. The two controls that we constant this box is built around these two controls. Um, and by the way, if you see these little bumps on here. Uh, this one is, I ran over this with my car four times. So this Seriously? is, yes, this okay. is the one we ran over. And so it's got a little scuffing here. And so I just, you know, we, made, we build tough products and I wanted to test it, see what kind of abuse it would take. Because we ran over the venue and it just seemed fair that we did ran over this one. <laughs> so I ran over this one four times with a 7,000 pound truck. Wow. It's not like a semi, but it's getting there. Okay. So anyway, these two controls, that what they do, one is saturation. So basically it's a type of distortion that introduces harmonics into the signal. Okay. It gives you more warmth, juicy, rich. In a way you could call it like what a tube does. I don't want to say it's like a, I don't want to say it is, it sounds like a tube, an right? but I don't want to say we're emulating tubes, but it really gets to this warm, rich, warm, beautiful sound that when you turn it off, you just kind of go, oh, I missed that. Okay. And you turn it back on, it just gets warm and juicy again. And then maybe the star of the show here is what we're calling a compressive EQ. Okay. This is a, basically it's a three band touch sensitive EQ. So it's bass, treble, and mid, but we do them with compressors instead of a fixed EQ. Okay. So, so sometimes when you're playing soft, you don't need so much help. When you play a little louder, maybe you need a little more help. Yeah. And when you're playing really loud, well, you need a lot of help. Yeah, yeah. And, but, but overall, if you use compression overall, it sits on your guitar and kills the sound. Sure. But if you selectively use bandpass filters of compression, it's much more interesting than fixed EQ. Okay. So it'll it's dynamic and it's response to your touch and how hard you play like wood You know like you play your guitar harder. It actually clamps on certain frequencies right. So that's what this does too and we've set the threshold. This is the threshold of the of the uh, of the compression or the EQ and So the harder you play the more it does okay. and it just sounds so these two things together are the two primary tools that mixing engineers use in post-production to bring balance and harmony to the signal, make it bigger, warmer, juicy, bigger than life, right? Right. So that's what most acoustic guitars aren't using live, right? Live, right. Yeah. So what 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 how many guitar players, acoustic guitar players, really have the tools, the knowledge, or a front of house mixing guy that knows how to how to use this stuff. Or maybe he knows how to use it, but he doesn't have the time. Right. Right? Right. So only the top one tenth of one percent of guys out there can, you know, use this. This isn't anything secret. It's used in studios all over the world every day, but live guys, they don't have the ability. Right. So basically we set this up. So you just plug it in, you set this everything to high noon, 
you turn the gain until the yellow light comes on okay. and you're done you're gonna get a fantastic sound nice. and so you don't have to know anything to get a, the, a professional post-process sound live ease of use killer sound it's a pretty pretty awesome combination yeah so. yeah nice well, Lloyd, that is uh, that is cool stuff as always. Thank you, man. Appreciate your time. Oh, me too. Thanks for thank you for uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rich Osweiler from PremierGuitar.com coming to you from the 2015 NAMM show with Lloyd Bags, and we got lots more coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you.